Hello and welcome to this video for Blackboard Learn. Today we're going to take a look at the Grade Center and how you can grade assignments, tests, and other various tools that are connected to the Blackboard Grade Center. So in the prior tutorial we talked about just entering grades into a normal Grade Center column that we created. Now as you start grading your tests and your grade assignments and various other tools that are connected to the Grade Center, there's going to be a relationship between that test and the Grade Center. So for example, when you generate a test and you deploy it into a content area, it's automatically going to put a column into the Grade Center. So in our prior tutorials, we had been talking about the icons that we had seen in this icon legend. And one of them we had mentioned was this final category, somebody was in process of taking that final. Well, they submitted the grade, and the grade automatically fed into the grade center. Now why did that happen? Well, this particular final only had multiple choice questions, so it was easily gradable by the machine to where it just came out and threw out what the score was for that particular test. Now not all tests are going to be multiple choice and you're going to have to go in there and still do some grading. So another example would be this essay test. If you have an essay test set up through Blackboard, you're still need to, going to need to read those essays, give some feedback, and also give some points based on each question. So if you just clicked on this particular cell, it's going to erase everything that is in there and give you the ability to input a grade. But that's not what we want. We have to look at our information and the way that we'll do that is by clicking this drop down arrow. Once you click the drop down arrow in the particular cell you'd like to grade, you should see an attempt. So if you click on the attempt, it's going to open it up for that particular student. Now you'll have some information so you can review your test information if you like. You also can go down and see what your, uh, your question was so you can make sure you're answering uh, the question correctly or they're answering it correctly. So then you take a look at their given answer. At that point, you'll be able to enter in a score into this top area here, so how many points do they earn out of whatever your uh, point value is for that particular question, and you can give feedback if you like on that particular question. So once you've completed that, you can uh, add some actual feedback to user and grading notes if you like. Now, just as a heads up, this response feedback is feedback that they would see once they have taken the, quest, the test and it would be more like the right answer. If you'd like to provide some feedback to the user on their grade center, you can use the feedback to user here. Okay, so we got that settled. We're going to hit submit and now their score is going to automatically feed in there after we've done all the grading. So if you had multiple uh, essay questions, you'd go through, grade them all, hit submit, and the aggregate score would fall in here. Okay, so that's doing a test. Assignments is very similar. So we have a research report that's due. Again, if you click in the cell, nothing's going to happen. But if you click on the drop down arrow, you can go to the attempt. So just like a test, it's going to bring up that attempt for that particular user. Now since this is an assignment, you might want to take a look at the assignment information. Uh, if you associate a due date with this, it would mark late assignments late. But in this instance, we did not. But you will be able to see the particular date that it was turned in all the way to the second. Alright, so then you're looking at what attempt they've uh, turned in. You can have multiple attempts for assignments. Uh, we've limited this one to one attempt, so it's going to let us know that. And then category two, you're going to be able to look at the attempt. So if it was like more of an essay and they wanted to include that, it would be in their submission area. Otherwise, you may be taking a look at an attached file. So you can click the attached file, review the information, and then jump back into your grade by closing that uh, tab up and then giving in their grade. So in this particular instance, they're getting a 95. You can add feedback to the user that they'd see in the Grade Center, and then grading notes to yourself if you need to remind yourself of anything in the future. So once you hit Submit, that's going to enter that grade into your particular cell for that student. And again, if you ever needed to get back to these things, that essay test or this particular assignment, you again, you just hit the drop down arrow and you can go to that attempt. Now it's not marked with the exclamation. Now just as a side note, if you're down in your grade center, by default there's going to be this uh, needs grading off in your menu. So if you click on needs grading, it's going to queue up everything that needs grading in your grade center. So there is one more assignment that I see that we need to do some grading for. So you can instantly go to this particular uh, uh, assignment and grade it right now. So I could go grade all users. There's only one that I need to grade in this particular area. Um, or there's another way you can uh, grade assignments in different tools. This particular tool that they uh, gave this assignment in was this, the discussion board. And you can see that by this category over here. So if you went into the discussion board, 
you clicked in the particular form that you want to take a look at, you'll notice that there's a grade form button. So you don't always have to go outside of the form to do this, but you can go into the particular tool as well, so it might be a blog, it might be a journal, and you'll find that grade button. And once you click on the grade form button, it's going to bring you to an interface that shows you all the students that have been participating in that particular tool. So in this particular instance, there is only one person that has actually posted, and I can tell this by the amount of posts on this side. So I know they're ready to be graded because they have to post at least once to obtain a grade, and then I can hit grade. So what's really nice about going to the tool, it's going to take out all those discussion po posts, all the different forums, all the different uh, things that that student has done in that particular tool, and it's going to aggregate them together. So you can start looking at all the assignments and all the things that student particularly did. Now in this particular instance, they only replied to one thing one time. So we're ready to grade. We can hit this edit button give them their grade, five points out of five. If you like, again, like to give them feedback, you can do that here. Or you can put some grading notes to yourself. Once you're ready to go, you'll hit save grade, and that's going to apply the grade to that particular student. So if I go back into that grade center, I will be able to see that that particular assignment their discussion fed in the grade of five. And so that concludes this video on how to grade assignments, tests, and various other tools within Blackboard Grade Center.